we want the area of the given rectangle, the formula for the area of a rectangle is area equals length times width. So we need to determine the product of 1.65 meters and 2.51 meters. It doesn't matter in which order we multiply these because multiplication is commutative. Let's go ahead and write this as 2.51 times 1.65. When multiplying decimals, we need to keep track of the decimal places. Notice how this first decimal has two decimal places and so does the second one, which means our product must contain the sum or four decimal places. So we're going to go ahead and multiply like we normally do and then make sure our product has four decimal places to the right of the decimal point. So we'll first multiply by five. Five times one is five. Five times five is 25, so we carry a two. Five times two is 10 plus two, that would be 12. Now we're going to multiply by six making sure the first digit goes in the second column. So we'll have six times one, that's six. Six times five, that's 30. So we have a zero here and now we'll carry a three. Six times two is 12 plus three, it's equal to 15. If we want, we can add a zero here in this first column so things line up nicely. Now we multiply by one, we need to make sure the first digit will go in the third column. So we can go ahead and include two zeros in the first two columns if we wish. And now we'll multiply by one. One times one is one, one times five, and one times two. Now we'll add, so we have five. Here we have 11, we carry a one. This will be four. This will be 11, carry a one, and then we have a four. So again, if we ignore the decimals, the decimal point would be right here currently. But now, since we have to have four decimal places in our product, we're going to move the decimal four places to the left. So one, two, three, four. So the product of the decimals would be 4.1415, which would be the area of a rectangle. So our area is equal to 4.1415, which would be 4 and 1,415 ten thousandths, and because we're multiplying meters times meters, the units would be meters squared. So this tells us that just over four square meters would fit inside this rectangle.